Now to the showdown over Syria. President Trump warning U.S. airstrikes will be coming in retaliation for that suspected chemical attack. Now new reports of negotiations with Russia. So let's go to ABC chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz. She's there in Washington for us. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Robin. The U.S., French, and British military are all getting into position. There are warplanes, ships, and possibly submarines just waiting for the word, with President Trump tweeting about timing just moments ago. This morning, the U.S. military awaits the president's final decision on exactly when and what to target, with President Trump tweeting, never said when an attack on Syria would take place, could be very soon or not so soon at all. But the president has made clear the attack is coming. Missiles the president tweeted that are nice and new and smart. We stand ready to provide military options if they're appropriate, uh, as the president determined. The options ranging from strikes on chemical weapons storage facilities to airfields to even Assad's military command headquarters. Assad was given a warning a year ago. He didn't heed that warning. And so the president's going to have to go back in with something that's going to make more of an impression on Mr. Assad. The smart missiles, satellite guided weapons, which could be launched from sea and air. A U.S. destroyer already in the Mediterranean with tomahawks, a French warship off the Lebanon coast, even possibly U.S. and British submarines. And French planes could be launched from Jordan, British from Cyprus. Trump's promised response in retaliation for that suspected chemical weapons attack in Douma last weekend. New images posted by activists showing an unexploded barrel bomb, which they say contained chemicals. Assad has called the images fake, but this morning the Syrian military is increasing its defensive posture and repositioning warplanes. The Syrians are moving their equipment to areas where the Russians have aircraft, thinking those sites will not be hit. And this morning, Putin's spokesman confirms that the deconfliction line between Russia and the U.S. remains open, with a Russian newspaper claiming secret talks with the U.S. to try to get coordinates for sites that may be targeted so Russian aircraft won't be hit. But none of this has stopped Russia from conducting naval exercises off the coast of Syria as a show of force, Robin. But what about re repositioning Syrian aircraft and the heads up that a strike would be coming? Does that complicate things? Well, it does, but the Syrians had to know this would happen when chemical weapons were used. And whether they move them or not, the Pentagon is tracking their every move and will know where to find them, Robin. Mm. All right, Martha, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.